pre-diabetes, you have no symptoms. You don't feel anything negatively at this moment. But think of 10, 20, 30, 40 years in the future. Think of about uh, your loved ones. What quality of life you want to live. So we want to live disease-free, healthy, happy, less problem, not developing diabetes, because diabetes itself is the most terrible thing. My name is Dr. Zauga Shifarad Ribe. I'm an endocrinologist working and teaching at Interface Medical Center, which is a part of the One Brooklyn Health System in Brooklyn, New York. Prediabetes is a stage of deranged blood sugar control level, which is not in the diabetes range, and also it's not normal, so it's between the normal and the diabetes. But its importance is it has negative consequences to health, it can lead to diabetes, it can lead to other cardiac problems, cholesterol problems, blood pressure problems. That's why we discuss and we study our pre-diabetes. So the pre-diabetes per se by itself doesn't have really symptoms, unless really it gets into complications, of even before going to diabetes, you can have heart problems, cholesterol, blood pressure. If you have those comorbid conditions, we call them, you know, associated disease, you could have the specific symptoms for heart problems. But by itself, pre-diabetes is symptomless. So that's why actually it flies under the radar. So that's why it's important we go by risk. There is one study from John Hopkins, which is... Uh, they did meta-analysis of many studies, comprised many studies. They say, according to that meta-analysis, it say if you can reverse. They showed that reversal of pre-diabetes around 14 to 39 percent in the first five years, actually even up to 11 years, but the percentage was a little bit less, up to 30 percent. So this level, this amount, magnitude, you can reverse it. How much we reverse depends on how bad was uh, the derangement in the beginning. So if the person has all three abnormality, and if that person has high risk, is in high risk from fat accumulation, obesity-wise, say if an obesity is advanced to class three, the reversing is really difficult because already it has gone too far. But if the problem was just one of the three tests was abnormal, especially fasting, that gets the reversing easier. There is a very nice study called Diabetes Prevention Program, DPP. This was studied in the 90s and it's continuing until now. In DPP study, there is evidence that lifestyle prevented 58% wise. And they compare it with medication, metformin, which just decreased 31%. So with what is uh, more uh, powerful is lifestyle. Lifestyle change, then that study <coughs> says you have to be physically active. You have to decrease calorie intake. Start today and say, I will do it. I will start to live healthy life. I want to live long, many years, not many years only, but quality, happy lives. So that's our goal.